So the ZANU PF in South Africa has condemned the murder of Elvis Anyati. The Zimbabwean national was killed by a vigilante mob in Deep Slurt early on Thursday morning. In a statement, the party says it is deeply saddened by the loss of life. It extends its condolences to the Nyati family. It says footage of his death is horrifying and that his murder is just one of many targeting foreign nationals in South Africa, which have been taking place for a very long time. ZANU PFSA says it respects local security services and other government organizations. The party adds it does not condone any acts of criminality by its citizens and says it respects and values the rule of law. So Kennedy Mandaza is the ZANU PF spokesperson here in South Africa and joins me on the line. Mr. Mandaza, good evening to you and thank you for your time. Again, uh, you know, condolences to the community that have rallied around uh, Elvis and Yati. What uh, is your reaction to what you heard our cabinet ministers and the premier of our province say with regard to remedying the situation in Deep Slurt? Uh, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity uh, to extend our sincere and deepest condolences to the Nyati family and all other people that are affected by the current wave of violence that has uh, taken place in this state. Um, we, like we have indicated, we respect and value the uh, South African security services and we know that it is very functional. It can execute its duties and the responsibilities that it is enshrined in the Constitution. However, like we said, we are saddened by the developments which seem to be going on without check, and they therefore appeal to the government and the fellow South Africans to make sure that uh, we find a lasting solution that seeks to move in the direction that is required by the rule of law. With respect to the visit of the ministers, we, are, we appreciate the concern that they have shown and the one hopes that um, the multi-sectoral approach that they are going to use will ensure that there is peace and security among the people in this loop and any other part of South Africa and any criminality, regardless of nationality, should be treated within the confines of the law. And we accept, and like we said, we respect and understand that the South African courts and the security services, they can be on top of every situation that is found in the country. And our appeal is that we do not want as Africans to see what seems to be emerging in our communities. We've seen, and I discussed this with our earlier guest, uh, Mr. Mandaza, the cyclical nature of uh, violence in this particular way that it's played out in Deep Slurred. It happens every so often, often, almost in exactly the same way. And I'm really interested in your concerns about whether there's a possibility this happens again. And if you do believe there's a possibility it happens again, what proactive measures can, can you take as ZANU PF in South Africa amongst communities? Um, or, or even with your, with your other counterparts uh, in ZANU-PF? Uh, Zimbabweans, like any other foreign national, uh, stay within communities that we have South Africans. And the, our hope is that um, every, every citizen, including this foreign national, should be able to coexist. But unfortunately... We have also seen an unprecedented rise in unemployment and other issues that are being raised, which are quite pertinent. And with the surge in the numbers that are in the communities, I think it puts pressure on the resources culminating in what we are seeing. And we would therefore appeal to our um, uh, citizens, uh, particularly those from Zimbabwe, to make sure that they stay within communities while they hold all the requisite papers that are required by the government so that they can engage in the productive means to secure the, the, their livelihoods. We condone it, 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 we do not condone uh, criminality, we condemn it with the, uh, in the strictest sense, and we do not want any Zimbabwean to commit crime in our name. Therefore, our appeal is, let us take heed of uh, the need to have legal papers 
so that we can stay within our communities and work with them and live in harmony. And when we do so, there will be lasting peace in the communities. And yeah. we, as, a, as ZANU PF, we still have a responsibility to make sure that we do what we are supposed to do to make sure that those who so happen to check back to Zimbabwe will be able to find um, sources of livelihood that will make them stay in the country. Here's the thing, and, and, and those are commendable statements. They talk about social cohesion. They, thought of, they, they talk about abiding by the law. Uh, and, you know, many people would be hard-pressed to disagree with you on that. The reality is, and we're not sure what the circumstances are for the other, you know, five individuals that were also taken from their loved ones and, of course, condolences to their families as well. Elvis Nyati was, based on what we heard, dragged from his home, mobbed and murdered in the street. Um, you know, to live in a situation of um, uncertainty is, you know, is, is something that's, I mean, it's, it's really destructive. Um, how, how do you, as a Zimbabwean, you know, in South Africa and, and others that you speak to who are not South African, I mean, how does an event like this affect how they move in communities? Are there high levels of fear? Um, yes, there are cases where people are afraid to conduct their business with, uh, even when they are legal. But uh, I, I wouldn't say that in general that is what has been the trend that many of us would live in fear. We coexist with other fellow South Africans. We engage in business with fellow South Africans. And we would want to ensure that we inculcate that spirit where we coexist, we do work together. And as we engage with other foreign nationals, I think we would want to make sure that in our engagements, we encourage one another to make sure that in, as we coexist with fellow South Africans, we do the best that we can to make sure that we do not step on one another's feet or toes, rather. And there is no way that we can say that um, the uh, fellow South Africans or South Africans in general would continue to do that. Yes, there are instances when they happen, they are very, uh, they cannot be. Uh, condoned, but um, going forward, I think the intervention by the government and our intervention also talking to our fellow citizens, uh, countrymen, I think we should find a lasting solution together with the government of South Africa and the other governments in the neighboring uh, in, that are bordering South Africa. All right. Thank you very much for talking to us this evening. We appreciate your time. Kennedy Mandaza is the ZANU-PF spokesperson for ZANU-PF SA in the country.